greetings everyone hope you are all doing well today we are very excited to finally show you the raw gameplay footage of olden card game a moment before that i'd like to give you a fair warning the game match is a little bit longer than usual because i'm taking the time to read the cards and explain the game mechanics and the game is in its alpha stage at the moment that means that the game is not finished it is not polished the user experience is at its minimum some bugs are still present uh, there is no sound effects yet and so on um, my friend and I have been working for a very long time on this project and we feel we should do some kind of an update that concerns the state of the game and yeah, that, that's it. Just wanted to say that it is still work in progress. Thank you. So in order to begin the game, all you have to do is pick your avatar. There is no deck building, so feel free to just hop in. Every avatar or entity as we call them gives you a small unique perk that can help a little bit from time to time. So choose carefully. For now, I'll go with Entity of Life, it gives passive buff to uh, my life cards and when I sacrifice a life card, it does additional buffs. So let's, let's go with him. And so our game begins. Our opponent plays first. As you can see, she has one draw token and one action token. She used her token to play a troll card. Troll card says whenever your opponent plays a card, you take 15 coins. So it's not a dangerous card since it only has 35 value points. However, it is a good coin generator, so I can't ignore it for too long. Luckily, we have a witch card and it says Effect, one enemy card receives minus 40 value and it has passive ability as well, this card cannot attack. I can place her on my side of the board and curse the troll for minus 40. This, this was a good move, we managed to remove one enemy card, build our own board and generate some favor coins that we can use later on. Okay, so my opponent played Basilisk, it says effect stun all enemy cards. Since my witch is stunned, I can't sacrifice her, so she is just gonna be sitting there, I guess. Now Basilisk has a lot of value points, 50, but I don't want to become obsessed with her board and just go full attack mode. Instead, I'm gonna fill my own board and make my opponent worry if uh, she should control my board or not. So, I'm gonna play Desert Dragon. It gives 45 value points. Plus, it is a life card, so he will receive bonus from my Entity of Life. The only problem is that he's a good late game card. It shuffles 5 random cards from the graveyard back into the main deck. So it is a good card for the late game, but I need to play something and continue to build my board. Now I got a good amount of favor coins as well, that I'm probably going to use next turn. Uh, it should unlock us some options. Okay, so my opponent did not take the bait, she did not attack my card, instead she decided to build her own board and she played Chaos card and received a strong bonus from Entity of Chaos as well. I guess I'm going to do the same, but... Oof, um. I can't let her keep sacrificing, so I'm gonna attack her card. And I'm gonna buy an extra action. And I'm gonna sacrifice my Desert Dragon. And from... 
I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna sacrifice my witch as well. So I have 50 value points that I collected from my desert dragon. And I'm gonna get 40 more from my witch. And now we are at 90 value points collected. And we have the lead. <sighs> and her strong minion is under attack, so it is not the bad position to be in. The problem is that we are out of favor coins, so if my opponent decides to fill the board, I won't have much options. Okay, so let's draw a card. <laughs> Shaman is a great card. So she played Demon of Greed. All players receive double amount of coins from their cards. This is a very strong card, however it can be a double-edged sword. So for example if I would to play my mouse card that gives 45 favor coins, I should receive double of that amount. And it is a good opportunity for me to buy myself some time and generate some coins. I'll enter into the combat with my mouse just so my opponent won't be able to sacrifice her card. The good thing is, okay, so she played the Gr Griffon card. It says destroy all enemy cards with lesser value than this card. Luckily, our board was already empty. Um, uh, I, I guess I'm gonna. I kind of want to play my Archangel. I still have Demon of Greed on the board. I should receive double amount of coins. Now I have two actions and I can play one more extra card. I'm gonna play my Demon of Lies and convert this one into the Chaos card. And it received a buff from the Entity of Chaos, so there's that. However, that matters not because I'm planning to clean the board now with my Archangel. His effect reads destroy all chaos and death cards so i'm just gonna go for it and clear my board and enter my plan is to somehow try and sacrifice my archangel however i'm very much sure that she will attack him with anything that's okay because I have my knight card, it reads free one friendly card, so in case my archangel gets attacked, I can actually defend him. Okay, she did not attack. Oh, she, she discarded my knight card. Oh, not, not good, not good. So, Abomination takes two cards from graveyard and returns them back into the main deck and both players discard one card so uh, she discarded my knight card there goes my tactics <laughs> oh oh and she did not attack my archangel be because she thinks that i will attack her black dragon <laughs> okay oh oh, oh. Oh, it says effect, destroy one life card, discard one card, and opponent draws one card. So the, the red dragon has a lot of value points and his effect will destroy uh, black dragon. However, 
I'm gonna discard one card and I can't afford that plus my opponent will draw one card so I'm really not sure what to play I guess I will uh... Shaman is too strong of a card uh, for me to discard yeah so I'm gonna sacrifice my Archangel and now I have 185 points and I think she will sacrifice her black dragon it does have huge amount of points yeah there it goes and now I'm going to try and steal <laughs> her black dragon so shaman it says summon one random card from your opponent's sacrificial pile so I think she sacrificed two or three cards and shaman will take one card from her altar. Oh, but I don't have enough favor coins. Oh, <laughs> oh, you see here it says minus 65 and I only have 60. <laughs> I am missing five coins. Oh, in that case, uh, let's go with the nymph. Ha, <laughs> she summoned a mosquito. <laughs> Such a useless card. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is a troll card, I must admit. <laughs> it has effect. This card, two cards. Oh, no, 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 no. She took my shaman. Oh, my plans. Oh. So I wanted to play my shaman and take one card from her sacrificial pile and deduct her victory points. But she played a Sirene card and <laughs> it reads one random card from your opponent's hand goes directly to your sacrificial pile. So she took my shaman and she sacrificed it this is this is one of the strongest cards uh, when it comes to the effect it has very little value points but the effect is just brutal okay Oof. Ah. <laughs> i'm i'm upset now <laughs> i guess i guess i'll play my necromancer Summons two random cards from the graveyard and converts them to death. It has only 10 value points and I don't want to fill my board with useless cards. So I'm going to attack her abomination so he can die off. And oh, no luck, no luck at all. <laughs> I was I was hoping for something stronger for some stronger cards from the graveyard. Demon of Lies it has only five value and Demon of Betrayal. I guess uh, this is not good. The comforting thing is I guess is that she is not leading with victory points. We are draw at the moment. But I am running low with cards in my hand, so... Uh, so she played Naga. Naga says, destroy one card that has 30 or less. And she destroyed my Demon of Lies. I don't... I don't want to use my Red Dragon for Naga, but I guess I should. I don't want to discard anything. Uh. I'll, I'll play my archers. It says combat. This card can attack two additional cards. So let's attack her abomination and naga. We are slowly getting some favor coins. I think I should not use my coins for extraction this time. I should save up for extra card draw. Oh, 
Oh, she played Forest Giant. <laughs> it says free all life cards. That 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 was that was a great move right there. So so what she did, she played her Forest Giant and a Forest Giant freed her Naga from the combat. <laughs> and then she got an extra action and uh, then sacrificed her Naga. And now I'm out of cards. I guess I'll buy a card draw. And we got a gin. Oh, not, not what we need. Let's make some pressure. So, destroy one life card. Discard one. And I have to destroy my own life card now. Ah, we were very unlucky with the discards. She discarded my shaman card and I was really relying on that one. She played Zombie Warrior, it reads Combat, destroy a card on your next turn. Even though my Red Dragon has 90 value points and Zombie Warrior has only 30, he will still destroy it because that is his combat ability. The only strong card I have now is the Ice Giant and... Hmm, the Ice Giant says nobody can draw a card for two turns. Gonna buy a card draw and oh, oh, oh! I got a cleric. Oh, oh. we summons one a random card from the graveyard and free one friendly card. Oh, okay, so I can actually defend my red dragon. That that that's some that's some good news right there. Good, 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 good draw, good draw. So I'm, so I'm gonna summon my cleric, I'm going to free my red dragon, and he resurrected a gargoyle. Ha! Oh, there we go! This is some serious pressure we made. The only bad thing is uh, that I cannot sacrifice my gargoyle, because he has the ability that is not allowing him to be sacrificed. Oh, oh, okay, that, that was very good. She played Kraken. Like archers, Kraken can attack two additional cards. Okay, at least uh, she gave us a card draw. Oh, not good, not... Oof. And she has Forest Guardian on the board. I can't let her sacrifice her forest guardian, I, I just can't, but I don't want to waste my ice giant. Let's draw a card, griffon, not good. So Kraken will basically clear my board and I'm low on coins. I have, I guess I have no choice, I really have to. She has only two or three cards and I'm gonna freeze the deck, at least there's that, she can't draw, and let's end the turn. Oh, my poor red dragon, he had 90 points and now only 15, I really needed that. Okay, let's, um, let's play king, all other friendly cards receive plus 15 value, if king is alone on the board, he receives plus 20, 
So he buffs others and if he is alone on the board he buffs himself. So hmm, she's really close to victory and I'm pretty much behind. So I'm kinda desperate to sacrifice this red dragon but I don't want to waste coins on extra action but I kinda have to. Plus King will buff himself if he's alone on the board so I'll buy an extra action and I'm gonna sacrifice my red dragon and end turn. Okay, so my opponent played a uh, Calvary. It is a blank card, but it has 50 value points. And that is just enough to destroy my king card. Oh, goblin. Look at my hand, <laughs> all the weak cards. <laughs> so I'm so I'm gonna play Goblin just to generate some coins. Plus he receives buff from my entity of life, so he has 30 now. I think the deck is running low on cards, so maybe I should invest in card draws because if we are going to drain the main deck from the cards the one who has the most cards in the end will have better chances of victory and comeback. And I guess we are headed to that scenario. So my opponent played the Golem. It is a protect card. And this card cannot be sacrificed and cannot attack. So she can't sacrifice the golem and that is a good thing unless she has the cultist cards. But he has protect and protect means that I cannot attack her other cards as long as the golem is on the board. So um, uh, now I have to play demon of Right, uh, it is a strong card, but he will destroy my goblin, and I kind of need the points. So I want to sacrifice the goblin, but uh, hmm. I'll I'll buy a card draw. Okay, Hydra. Hydra is a great card. So, <laughs> actually, if my opponent is, oh, hmm. oof, oof, oof. I can't risk it. A cultist can sacrifice any card, even though this card cannot be sacrificed. Cultists have an effect to sacrifice any card. So I can't risk her having cultists. So I, I I will attack with my Hydra. Because she's so close to the victory, anything she plays and sacrifice can lead to my defeat. So I can't I need to be able to attack her cards and so I need to clear this protect card. Oof, 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 werewolf is a dangerous card. Okay, Paladin. Oh, he can be a game changer actually. But I need coins. I need to generate some coins if I want to do some double plays later on. 
and have some kind of uh, comeback. So for now, I'm just gonna buy myself some time and attack her werewolf and hope for the best, I guess. The good thing is that my opponent is low on favor coins as well. Okay, she destroyed her own town. Okay, this is very good. Ooh, okay, this is very good. I'm I'm gonna play skeleton. Skeleton says draw one card and passive you get one extra action per turn. This is very, very strong card because it gives you ability to play two cards per turn. So I'm gonna attack her dwarf and now I can play something else. And my skeleton is kinda safe uh, because he is in combat and he will return uh, to the my side of the board with five value. And then I'm gonna play troll card to get some coin generation. I'm tempted to play demon of pride, but I don't want to. If she plays some strong chaos or death cards, I want to be able to play paladin. And I don't want to destroy my own card with the paladin. So I'm gonna save my paladin for some later plays and save some coins as well. Slowly we are managing to clear her board and okay, uh, oof, this is a good opportunity for the Paladin. This is a great opportunity for the Paladin, but oh, oh wait. Paladin says destroy one random chaos and one random death card. So he will destroy my own skeleton. That is okay, but he will destroy demon of envy as well. So let's use action that we get from the skeleton and then destroy him. So I'm gonna sacrifice my troll card and then I'm gonna play my paladin. I'm gonna play him on my side of the board and his effect should destroy her. Okay, wonderful. There we go. Okay. Uh... Oh, oh, I have, I have a victory move right here. <laughs> so you, you cannot sacrifice uh, the card that you just played. However, you can sacrifice the card that are summoned by other cards. And my warlock says summon all chaos cards from your hand. Oh, oh no. Oh, she played she played the cultist. She she played a card and then she sacrificed it with the cultist. Ah. Oh, because cultists instantly sacrifice any card. You don't have to wait uh, for the hourglass to go away. They, they just do it, you know. Oh, okay. Ah, I got defeated. <laughs> oh, that, that, that was a very good game. Oh, great game. <laughs> uh, good game. What I wanted to do was play my warlock. He would summon my demon of pride 
and then I would buy an extra action and then I would sacrifice my demon of pride yeah but uh, I was I was one turn away from the victory <laughs> uh, good game GG good game so yeah that should be it I really hope you like this and as I mentioned it is a work in progress we are still planning to release a Kickstarter campaign soon and maybe even an open beta testing. And so if you wish to get beta key, all you have to do is subscribe to our website and we will send it to you in the moment beta version of the game is released. We also invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel because that is the place where we will post project updates and important announcements. Thank you very much for your time and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!